Hi everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about the configurable joint. We're going to continue our physics talk, so let's just get started. Now for the configurable joint, the reason I added it to this capsule, uh, capsule player is that if we look at this documentation real quick, it says that apart from it being uh, all types of joints, what they mean by that, I'll, sh I'll tell you right now or I'll show you right now. They also are particularly useful when you want to want uh, customize the movement of ragdoll or enforce certain poses on your characters. And they also provide greater control of character movement. So that's the whole reason that I um, put it on the capsule game object, the player. So what we could do here is you could add uh, a rigid body. Now the rigid body, this is this joint will affect this rigid body if you don't if you do not want it to be affected by the rigid body or the articulate shin body because they're both uh, similar then what you could do is uh, just leave it at none and it will be affected by world space so um after that there's this anchor so let me go to the scene now we got the anchor the anchor is this little transform thing looking right here so just like this transform right here or the yeah that transform uh, gizmo there's also this transform gizmo and uh as you can see i could adjust it and it disappeared because i'm moving it around and then there's the axis and uh the axis is uh, as you can see it's the way it's kind of facing and then there you could auto configure configure the connected anchor or you could connect it yourself so you could actually adjust this yourself if you uncheck this and then as you can see now there's uh, two little transform gizmos and that would be the actual connected uh, anchor so if you wanted to connect uh, two let's say two bones together you could do that and then have the rigid bodies connected to each other and then uh, after that the secondary axis this is the same as this first one uh, but for the connected uh, anchor which as you see it just uh, rotates it now there's X motion, Y motion, Z motion, and the same thing for angular X, Y, and Z. So what this is, if we go to the, the drop down uh, menu, there's lock, limited, and free. So if you have it at lock, it will lock the motion of the X. Same thing with the angular, it will lock the X uh, rotation angle. So this uh, rotation angle right here, it will lock it. Now, um, and it goes, uh, you know, it's the same thing for all these other ones. Now there's limited. Now if you have it limited, you will only be able to uh, limit it by these uh, limits right here. So angular X limit, uh, there's a linear limit. So that's what will, that's what will limit uh, these motions right here. So if I have this, let's say all limited, then these will all be limited to these, uh, these parameters down here. So for now, we'll just, you know, keep it free. But for example, if you if we have these all locked, we hit play and we move. Hit play one more time and just hit it once this time. Now if we move, as you can see, it's not allowing us to move. It wants to because of the code that is written. I know it's gonna keep on doing it because it's on an update function, which if you guys know about codes or scripts, that's gonna keep running every single frame. So this code is gonna keep running and since it's locked, it will not move. Now let me put free. As you can see, it's trying to move, but it needs to move in the Z axis. So now you can see it actually moves. It'll move forward and backwards. Um, if I lock the, the X, as you can see, it just, you know, you guys get the picture. Anyways, um, there's, uh, so yeah, you guys could uh, limit like the spring, uh, the damper, all that stuff. And then you could also adjust it right here if you edit angle limits. So you could actually adjust the limits right here. So uh, let me go down here and open these up. You could actually adjust them and they should be changing. They're not, but yeah, you could adjust all these limits, you know, as you need to. And, uh, or you could, you know, adjust it right here. I think it's just these right here, low and high. Yeah, so as you can see, if I adjust these, those get adjusted. So the low, the high, and then I think it's angular Y, Z. No, it's not that one. Oh, then it'll be angular Y, and then the angular Z limit. Those are all adjusted by here. And then you could, you know, change 
spring, you could change the damper, you could change the limit. Now all these functions or all these parameters, you know, you might be thinking why so much, this and that. But as, as I said in the documentation, these serve also as different joints. So what they meant by that is it is also a character joint. It is also a fixed joint. It is also a hinge joint. It's also a, a spring joint. It could be used as all these joints. So if you didn't want to use one of those in particular, you could use this and it works just like a hinge joint or a fixed joint or any of those. So, um, you know, you could adjust the target rotations, all these. And then um, after all that, of course, you guys would have to play around with this depending on what you guys are looking for, you know, what you guys are looking to get out of this. You can also configure this by world space and then you could swap bodies. Now, you could have a rigid body connected and have this configured in world space. If you don't have a rigid body, it's automatically gonna be configured in world space. So um, there's also swap bodies. Now swap bodies, I'm not actually sure what that one is. So let's check the documentation. It says it enables, if you enable this property, swap the order in which the physics engine process the rigid bodies and bolts in the joint. This results in different joint motion, but has no impact on rigid bodies or anchors. So you would have to pretty much check it on, play test it, see if you like it, check it off, see if you like it. And you could also have a brake force, a brake fork. You could enable collisions and then enable pre-processing. Um, I don't know what that would be either. So if pre-processing is disabled, then certain impossible configurations of the joint are kept more stable than drifting wildly out of control. So if it's disabled. So if it's enabled, then uh, impossible configurations of the joint are not kept more stable. That's what I'm understanding. And then uh, there's uh, the scale of this um, configurable joint. And then if it has a connected mass scale or a connected um, anchor point, this is what that would be. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much that for the configurable joint. You guys any have, if you guys have any questions about the configurable joint, just let me know. Comments below, I'll answer them as quick as possible. Um, if some reason I don't, it's most likely because I'm work, I'm working and uh, I don't, ha I can't, you know, be responding. But as soon as I'm on my break or at home, I'll reply. But uh, let me check how much time we got left. Well, uh, actually, I'm going to cut it here. It's already been a little over eight minutes. Keep it as short as possible. So that's the configurable joint. Next one is um, hopefully the constant force fixed joint and maybe the hinge joint. Hopefully, we can get all these three real quick. But yeah, uh, if you have any questions, again, let me know. Uh, all these assets, like I said in the previous video, all these assets uh, are free. The only one I'm not sure of is the water, but I'm pretty sure that one's free as well. But I'll leave um, a description to all these assets in the comments below, or in the description below. You know, I'll leave the link, you know, to the water, to this coconut, to these materials, the sand materials, uh, this rock material. But yeah, uh, if you guys like this video, if it helped you out in any way, hit that like button, help me out, uh, help this channel out, hit that subscribe button. It'll help us out as well, help other people uh, so they could figure out what this configurable joint is all about. See if they even want to use it or if they'd rather just go with one of the regular joints if they even need to use it. Uh, but anyways, thank you once again.